Hello everyone, welcome to this short video about tools and this video is going to go under Help Desk Support Specialist course. So when you click on it and you go to the course, you can go to the tools section by learning path and also by forms which is the easiest way. So now you click on the cleanup and tune up tuning tools. This video is going to go under this area. I'm just going to call it tool with tool actually. So go to Google and type ToolWiz and this is the software that I'm talking about. It has a little description of what it is. It's like a cleanup, tune-up. It's kind of all in one kind of thing. Um, the best thing you can do is to read the reviews on CNET and some other sites to make sure it ha doesn't have any security um, problems with your wherever you're trying to download it. But so far I didn't find any problems with it. So once you go to the site, click on download and this is a setup tool with .exe save it and it's downloading right now and once it's downloaded I'm gonna make it a little bit so then you guys can see the whole screen okay so now I got the file scanning right now so I'm going to open it alright alright so you're gonna get this message say run now this is where I want you guys to pay attention you can have installed it on your system which I really don't like I always love portable stuff so this is without running with installation so if you have it on your like some kind of shared drive that you have for like uh, tune-ups and everything this is perfect you can do it from that or you can just put it on your USB or anywhere uh, I always use this section, but there's are there are some benefits of installing it. I'll just go in in a bit. So you click on Run without installation. You're going to see a little icon on your um, on the bottom, and then I'm just waiting for the program to come up. So application. This is this is the whole thing right here. So you can do start checkup. Um, it will check your system. It's like a quick checkup for everything. Cleanup. Let's go check what we have here. So this is what it ha it can look for. If I scan right now, it can scan the registry cleanup, disk cleanup. It will scan for all these files, Windows temporary files, invalid shortcuts, all that. Privacy cleanup. It's going to go under all my Internet Explorer, Google Chrome other stuff that it get, it's going to go pretty good stuff um, let's just go to the registry cleanup and see what it can do and it's looking for problems right now alright detected this many errors wow so let's just go ahead and clean now and fixed cool so let's just go for this cleanup now and see what it can do I'm just gonna pick everything and click scan now I want to see if I can clean my system pretty good and this system does need some cleaning. So this tool basically is a portable tool. Somebody call you, hey my computer is running slow, maybe it's at work, maybe it's out of work. You know sometimes you get these calls that, hey can you work on my computer, my personal computer, they might give you, you know, you might charge them, it's up to you, um, however you do business. So good tool to have um, and we're going to see what else it can do for us. 1.9 GB that's a lot of space chunk space so and a good thing you can see what it's removing you can go deep in there like you know uh, that's a good thing it, it just don't tell you like 1.4 GB and there's no information it does give you all the information what it's going to remove so let's clean that up too and now I am stopping and pausing video it's, it didn't take that long but still I mean this is a short video I want to keep it short alright so now we're going to step to the another tab which is privacy cleanup and I'm going to check everything check here check this check this and let's clean that up too
Alright, so this section got six seven hundred seven hundred almost seven hundred MB. The other one got like almost I don't know a few MBs and this one got um, JB so that's almost like two gigs so let's clean this up. Alright, so we got almost this much removed. A lot of stuff getting removed from this well, I didn't even know I had that many um I had that much stuff to remove. So that was just a quick cleanup i would say deep cleanup and now what we need i'm going to show you guys a different tab which is speed up computer speed up is you can either do fast defrag you have startup optimizer uh, you can uh, basically disable stuff from startup you will get to know a lot of information of for your computer i mean even stuff that i don't even i can't even see on ms config you won't be able to see this kind of stuff so it's pretty good you know kind of detailed stuff in there so if you see something let's say you're working on a machine that you don't know there's a file that it's just or a service something something like that application that is keep uh, messing it up but you can't access it this is a good way to see everything uh, you can click on start a report it will give you a report what what system what um, boot process is the first one so you can see which one is number one which ones are taking time so that's a good way system optimizer I didn't check this one but you can click on speed up and it will do its own um, calculations and make your computer faster uh, to boot or all that security uh, awesome um, another part of it if you click on scan plugin I love this part because you know most of the time when you have a virus or any like you know these nasty browser redirects or plugins this is the way to you can come over here and find out things about your browser so um, ie toolbar gives you ActiveX control stuff every single thing that you can find but you really can't find it actually manually it'll take you so much time to uh, just play around but just having this portable tool running on your system see how much you can look um, get into the inform get information for the, the systems that you're working on network manager this is another great tool um, you can work on this is a basically for example this is a great way to you can see the process you see what is running as a TCP or UDP you'll see the local address of that system that application or the remote also so you have have a local IP address and then it will give you the remote IP address same time so it's a great way to find out what this application is doing uh, what is the like you know if you don't understand if you see something is very strange you can check the IP addresses and search online are these legit or are your computer being used for like a spam bot or something like that you know if you know this computer is acting weird uh, you can come and open this up and see what's going on good stuff so click on process manager the same way you have a task manager but this is also a little bit detail um, nice way to if it's a lot of memories getting used or being read so and on the bottom it gives you disk access, memory usage, CPU usage. Click on the service manager. It also gives you a lot of detail uh, about services. You can you can stop it, you can disable it from here and enable it. Good way. So other things in this uh, little uh, tool is tools itself and it has so many built-in tools now file sp splitter you want to split the file you can do it from here this doctor you can do it from here file recovery you can try that one if it really works for you this wiper you can if you have a USB or any disk that you want to wipe it uh, you can do it from here registry backup and restore we'll get one password generator I don't use this these two game turbo boost is basically you know a lot of people use computer for games and they want to um, uh, they want to make their computer specifically for games this is a good way you can click on that and it will tell you this machine is going to turn into the resources for games only like you know more graphics stuff and all that uh, file encryption and decryption you can encrypt and decrypt file from here uh, running drivers another good way to find out about drivers repair network you can do that too from here MBR backup and restore you can um, back your MBR from here is sometimes you get those errors MBR is corrupted not available and then after that you just you have to plug in your CD and get all those stuff so just do it from here once and if you get that problem you can also just get it from here Internet Explorer Manager 
uh, you can also click on that let's just click what happened and you'll see everything that is in your uh, the same the one we, we click on security but it kind of gives you more information like you know if this is a start pad you get the I, the address of it sometimes you get these redirects uh, after a while so you clean everything but then these little you click on the internet and it just keeps taking you to some stupid sites uh, you can find out everything from here like you know you can find exactly where it is with the publisher or the path you can delete it from there and you're good to go so other than that uh, you have a app manager here it kind of tells you everything about softwares all programs in there so you can you can even uninstall it directly from here so you don't even have to go to the control panel and do things large programs gives you a good summary of things you know windows updates um, really use programs so if you have a if you want to go to your computer and see is there a mach there's some software that I can't I don't want to use uh, some of it is good some of it is like out of a uh, little bit like you know some of the programs I do use it kind of uh, most of them so I don't know if it, that part might not be that good recommend the software it kind of tells you what software you need uh, it, and these are pretty good software I mean these are the one that I use for like if somebody asked me do you know any antivirus software a good one for home use and these are the three best ones and they have it over there too so uh, Malwarebyte I mean one of the top ones so I mean this this tells me that this whoever made this application first of all thank you for making this application but it it is a, it has a good information in there so I would definitely if you're a tech uh, I would it won't hurt you install it and um, run it as a portable don't install it on machines um, unless you really have to but uh, I will run it at portable and then do play around with it it has a lot of information that it will save your time other thing you can do is to come on the settings area and you can do automatic too you know you can enable scheduling which is a cool part of it so you have let's say you have uh, labs uh, like you know CC cleaner does the same thing you can schedule it like as a startup you can also do that with the, with this over here too so if you have a lab running uh, with 30 computers and you don't want to do all this stuff you know going there and cleaning some stuff out and uh, you have and in your scenario is that you cannot do re-image all the time you cannot do like every time you soon reboot the computer it will go to the like the base state or anything like that you have to keep their data let's say for example 30 days and you, and you want to make sure for that 30 days you want to still clean some stuff when they leave the computer schedule it from here cleaning setup and just go around with it so good tool to have so thank you for watching this video we'll see you in a different video